past couple of days, my friend Milkway and I started a series on their Twitch where we play Raft. For any of you who don't know, Raft is a game about surviving on the sea with only a hook to your name. Over time, you need to build and extend your raft, fend off sharks and seagulls, and make sure you don't succumb to starvation or dehydration. I'm drinking to death. During our playthrough, Milk and I, m mostly me, wanted to play through the story mode, where you build a receiver and start following coordinates to unlock more of the lore. So here is episode one, Lost at Sea. What do you want our world to be named? What do you want to name um, our world? Boobies. Oh. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I what does friendly of... fire mean? Uh, that means you can hit each other. So turn okay. it on. I'm already extending our raft without you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Stop. Stop. No, I can't. Someone destroyed my um, raft. Uh, oh my god. Oh shit. This Hi. is what we start with. Actually, we started by a foot with a two by two, but I actually extended it. Why are you starting without me? Sorry! So after creating our raft world that we so graciously dubbed uh, boobies, Milk and I joined the world and began our journey. So you need to start um. by just fishing the stuff out. Oh my god, there's an island oh over there. Okay, so maybe I neglected to mention our relationships with this game. That being that I had played this game for years and had beat the story mode, and Milk has never played this game a day in their life. Am I gonna Dude, reach I'm... that? <laughs> I got holy it! Shit. Holy shit! Holy I'm shit. so cool! Holy shit. Oh my god! You have, play, you have to teach me how to play video game. I don't know okay, how to play video game. Okay, so... I had to struggle teaching this man how to play Raft while also interrupting their conversations with chat every 10 seconds because, um, they were streaming it live, but I'm the priority. Me! Pay attention to me! Mostly just try going for the stuff that's already coming towards us because it's kind of hard to get the stuff going into the back And basically you hold down on your on your little hook to hook things up and then you reel them in What is that? Is that metal? That's plus. I got it. What is this? You get metal from the bottom um, underneath, underneath islands. We're going to an island right now. Sometimes islands Or Milk have... never played a video game ever. I've never played a video game. Okay, You're such you a businessman. You're such you. a businessman. So when you get um about like four row or four leaves and um for planks, you can make a what? And press I. Press to I. I. Holy sh. Okay. Building I know. hammer. Four planks, two rope. See that little rope thing? You can. Oh, Look at me! What are you doing? We need we need a weapon, but I don't have one. No! No! It's fine. Oh. I mean, you hover over the like faded rope, and it'll have a little plus show up. I see ocean. Island! Island! These are useful for food, especially early in the game, because they carry things like pineapples, watermelons, and mangoes if you chop down the trees. There are also many materials lying underneath the surface of the water, including things like rocks, metal, scrap, and more. Unfortunately, with the shark here, not much can be dug up without the risk of, um, death. Holy sh! Don't worry, I know how to- <laughs> I was about to say I know how to juke the shark. <laughs> Did it get you? Yeah. I want that. I want that. Oh, you didn't see me oh. juke the fucking shark, but I did it. I- what the f*** <laughs> is this? Okay, he got me. I'm at like half- I got the milk. Ah! No, get on. Hi. Get on. I'm here. Hi. I got a pineapple and a watermelon. If you eat that- if you- if you, if you eat that with seed, you begun pregnant. What? <laughs> no, say it ain't so! And so... Eventually, we got a blueprint for something called a receiver, which we didn't make until like a week later, so I will explain it later. In the meantime, we yeah. worked on further expanding our raft and making it pretty before we oh started any of the story mode. So cool. Wait, I'm going to entrust you with my spear whilst I fish. Okay. And yeah. now, please don't hit me. I'm sorry for hitting you earlier. You did hit me earlier. <laughs> no. You no. did do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just yeah, caught a fish, feel good, does actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's a little small. He's... Don't say that. Size doesn't matter. He's All a little that matters small. is nutrition. Oh my god, there's a crate. Oh my god, and where? a barrel. One. <laughs> you got both. Wow, I just got what a happened? blueprint for a receiver. That's how we we have to make <laughs> a research table first. Oh, Get off. oh come up. Get off. Come up. Come Get up. off. Get off. <sighs> Yeah! About an hour later, we had two simple water purifiers and two simple grills. During this time, we also continued to extend the raft and made a small storage chest to lessen our cluttered inventories. At some point, we also made a research table. A research table is probably the most important thing to make at the start of the game, besides things for food and water and surviving whatnot. The way that the research table works is that you sacrifice an item to it to unlock a part of any recipe it holds. This spans anywhere from smelters to collect 
collection nets for us during this time. At the end of the first stream, our biggest accomplishment was catching a salmon that we couldn't actually cook because our grill wasn't big enough. I Hold just on, caught a, a big ass salmon that I can't oh even Oh my god, right tell now. chat about your salmon. Dude, chat, my salmon is fucking huge and I can't even cook it yet because we need a bigger cooker. Here, let me get in frame. Look at how big this fish is. Our raft was still pretty puny, but milk was just getting the hang of the game, okay? They, they needed time, okay? We also named the shark at some point. Fucking Spruce, you're not letting me break because his canon name is Bruce, but we decided that Bruce is Spruce's dead name. Sorry, Spruce. Shark. What? Sorry. Oh. Oh. Fuck Get him off. off. Fuck him up. Get off. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Get you're off. gonna fall. Oh, you're fine. On our second raft stream, we immediately had our first Spruce kill, which provided us with plenty of nourishing shark meat and uh, a, a trophy. Oh. Oh wait, I killed the shark. Oh, I just... actually did get you a present now. Can you close? Can you come oh, here and can oh, you close your eyes? Okay. Can you close your oh, eyes? Okay. My eyes are closed. Stream can see it though. Oh, okay. Um, can you can you pick up the thing under your feet? Did I get it? No. No. <laughs> Open your eyes. And then oh I my to... god. And you can put that. How on. How do I put this on? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Only 20 minutes later, we spotted our very first large island, and to this we made a sail so we can control the direction our boat floated towards. When we landed on the island, we only had a couple of goals in mind. Collect as much wood as we could, harvest crops around the island, and collect undersea debris for crafting and smelting. Riddle me this. I don't think I've had a mango in years, if ever. You're walking around and you just get a fucking mango? Where am I supposed to be getting mangoes from? On my own some. Where do mangoes come from? Trees? Okay, no. So when when mm -hmm. a mommy mango oh. and a daddy mango mm -hmm. Love each other um, very much. There are multiple predators to worry about on these bigger islands, which is a problem because we were already struggling so much with the shark. On these islands, there are two things you need to worry about. A massive bird that will drop heavy rocks on top of your head to knock your health down, and boars that will run towards you in a haste. Both these creatures can be dodged and eventually killed, one much harder than the other, but nonetheless, if you're careful, you shouldn't struggle too terribly with these guys. But like, I'm gonna glow ow. chips, you know, right? Ow, ow. Oh my body. Oh, oh, they're hurting me. The bird is no. hurting me. It's like major hurting me. This bird is huge. I know. I need to start working oh. on it. I only finished the glow to- ah! Oh my god, oh, I'm on the brink of death. The brink. The brink. After leaving the island, I was on it trying to make a smelter. Smelters are what I'd consider at least a little important. Without them, you wouldn't be able to smelt things like sand, metal ore, seaweed, etc. Metal and copper ore being the most valuable of the bunch because those granted us the ability to make things like hinges, bolts, metal tools, bigger storage units, a better anchor, bigger cooking and water filtering devices, circuit boards, batteries. I really wanted this smelter if you couldn't tell. I made it and it's huge. So Milk, this is the smelter. Are you making nets, dude? I'm on point eight. <laughs> you got something in your shirt right there. What is it? Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Most of the second stream was spent going around larger islands and collecting materials to further expand the raft. We decided it was more worth it to get the nicer looking platforms because even though they were required one more wood and plastic than their counterparts. They just look so much nicer. Eventually, Milkway and I decided that he would expand the raft and I would work on my darling dearest lady collection nets. Oh my god, I love collection nets so much. Oh my god, if I could die right now and be reborn as one of these saviors of my life, I would be happy forever. So anyways. Room three ends here. We have two spaces between. We make a staircase and then we have like a little loft on top. Oh. Oh, that'd be cute. We can have all yeah. our cooking stuff up there, I think. Yeah. Shark, 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 shark. No! Oh, he's dead. Make this a foundation for the ceiling since there's gonna be an other stair upstairs? Uh, or... yes. Yeah, solid wooden floor. Wait, solid foundation or solid wooden floor? Wooden floor. Why can't I build a thing here? Oh, you might need a little support. Um, what are our thoughts about this? Oh, bars. Is bars. That... Okay. That's bars, yes. Cool. On top of expanding the raft and making nets and whatnot, Milk also started making bedrooms for us because even though they weren't needed, we were kind of sleeping on the floor with our lowest of low tier beds, having water get into our toesies while we slept. So it would be nice to have a cutesy little room instead. Here's what I'm thinking. Look at my stream. I'm here. Maybe like this? Is that gonna be too close? That way we can still have like flooring here. What we can do is we can have a staircase here. And then the staircase would go here. 
Oh, and you already made it. We struggled a bit with where we wanted to put our stairs, but eventually I got to put my bed in a room made just for me. Nice. We started building up the rooms more and eventually gave it a roof with a little platform in between them so we could move the sail up there because, oh my god, that thing took up so much space. Finally, after three hours of expanding the base, upgrading tools, creating rooms, and making plans, we finally made a better anchor! Woo! This meant that when we wanted to stop moving at any point, whether that be to grab those little floating loot boxes or to stop at an island to collect materials, we didn't have to rush or make that awful, evil, dumb, stupid, temporary anchor anymore! It sounds super hard, dude. I was... Um, what do we think about oh this right here? About what? It's kind of hard to fit it anywhere else. Yeah. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, A brother! Brother! I'm dead. Are you dead? Oh shit. I'm dead. Don't worry. I'll save you. The third stream started the same way the previous one had ended. We continued to expand our raft with Milk working on our bedrooms and the upper deck while I worked on collection nets. We had already stopped at many islands over the days on our raft, but this was the first time that we actually, um, died. Fighting. <laughs> Where's our DM? Oh. Where's our DM? Ah, what the fuck? Being what, what banned? The fuck? Who Am said I poison? That? I'm fucking poisoned. Milk, milk, I'm gonna die. Milk, I'm gonna Play die. Him. Milk, I'm gonna Play die. Him. No, milk, I'm, I'm sorry. gonna die. I'm gonna well, die. Where are you? I'm gonna die. Where are you? Never mind, I'm alive. So. I'm here. Liam, I... it wasn't I... me. <laughs> okay, now I am gonna die. I need to hide. <laughs> but I need to go back to come the on, sea. Bitch. Where come I on, belong. bitch. Yeah, come on, bitch. Where'd you go? Oh, damn, you went far. Come on, hey, bitch. Hey, I need you to come save me. Hey, I died. I, I'm on my way. Eventually, we deemed it time to craft the receiver. Our raft was much bigger than when we had first gotten the blueprint for it, and it was time. Time for lore! I needed to extend the deck a bit further before putting it down, and then I also needed to make batteries, but after that, we were on our course to the very first lore island. Oh, fuck. We need a battery. Okay, I'll work on the battery. This is what the receiver looks like, by the way. I'm not looking. Oh. She. I do you so. mean they? Well, mm -hmm. hit them with your pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I promise you that was not that funny. Okay, I made a battery. I made a battery. And now oh we need three God. fucking antennas. I'm killing myself. After rerouting and setting sail, we were on our way to the location that was automatically in the receiver. Milk continued expanding our boat to add not only a storage room, but a kitchen as well. I got completely distracted with my task of net building and started decorating my room because we got beds. We are heading in the direction of whatever this blue thing is. So I think the blue thing way. is... Blue what thing is, is the lore, I think, and then those green things I think are islands, but we're currently oh. heading towards the lore, so I think we just turn this off and wait for a bit because I gotta work on a new battery. Turtles? Turtle, where? 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 Over here, over here. Ah! Turtle. What do we do to the turtles? Uh, they don't do anything. They're just like an event. Oh. Like the jellyfish. I'm, <laughs> I'm like not doing anything I should be doing and I'm decorating my room. No, that's okay. How did I make a rug? I want a rug for myself because I got you one, but I want a new one. Yes. You got me a rug. I forgot. And then I wasted all the battery power because I forgot to turn the receiver off. Oh, wait. I've been wasting the battery this whole time. Are you stupid? Yeah. Are you stupid? No. No, you're not. Then why the like, did you say that? <laughs> because you're stupid. Is that it? That's Lori. That's Lori. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let me let me adjust the sail. Why are my waves rocky? Don't rock my waves. I don't want them to be like that. Dude, they're rocked. No. Am I gonna have to paddle? I'm paddling. Where do we get Dude. on this thing from? Why don't we live like this? On that side. Are you stupid? Am I stupid? Yeah. We're oh, gonna cry. Oh, paddle broke. Anchoring. The first lore island is titled the Radio Tower or the Abandoned Sea Facility, and as it basically explains in the name, is an old abandoned radio tower in the middle of the ocean used for communicating with other active islands nearby. Ugh, I'm off. Yeah. I'm here. We did it. What do we do here? We go around and we collect all the things on the on the everywhere, and then there's also notes that we need to pick up, and one of the oh, like I got you, Bruce. Bruce the shark. Bruce. Um, and uh, the notes will have little audio logs, and one of them will contain the coordinates of our next place that we need to go to. Bobby, boat's gone. Bruce, Bruce is after me. 
gonna stay here until I find a way off this place. Mike. How do I get okay. up How over do we... here? No, 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 A crate? It had glass oh in it. We collected plenty of loot from the tower, and as we ascended further, we kept finding notes from the previous residents of the tower. The notes talk about three characters named Owl, Sparrow, and Cuckoo? Cuckoo? I don't know how to say this name. This group climbs the still working radio tower to try and make contact with something or somewhere called Celine. However, they don't get a response. A month later, Sparrow took the boat, abandoning Owl and Cuckoo alone on the tower. They try to pick up signals from Celine or Sparrow, but so far, January is full of grief over their situation. Owl climbed the tower. Radio still works, apparently. The other facilities are what? underwater, so. If Celine is lost, we've got nothing. Eventually, the pair lost track of what the date was, assuming it was now February. They had picked up a lot of signals, hoping for someone to come and save them, with the threat of starvation slowly approaching. Over the past couple of notes, Kaku talks about a reactor at Celine and how it will be some kind of saving grace against the endless ocean. Kaku talks about how Owl thinks Sparrow betrayed them by taking the boat and leaving without the other two, but Kaku is convinced that Sparrow had a good reason, telling him to finish the reactor for all of us. We're not starving. Yet. Yeah. The reactor at Celine might be the only chance we have against this endless ocean. There's one more note that contains some notes from Owl listing very short thoughts or points, saying things like Kaku won't accept facts and Sparrow's calm at Celine, along with many other future locations. Sangaroa City, 14th of February. Is Sparrow's dog. When we reached the very top, there was still a person in this apparently not fully abandoned radio tower. The name was Tala, Tala, Tala. Oh, a friendly face. Hi, we're so friendly. You're so quiet. Yeah. Eventually, they joined our crew, and by that, it means that we can just change our skin in the main menu to her if we so please. So that's cool. To them, you look non-binary. What are you? We checked around the rest of the radio tower, including the parts that were partially and fully sunken beneath the water, before we got bored and left. Are we time, I think time to go? No. Yeah, I think okay. it's time to go. Okay. And I will look at where the new coordinates are, and we will head this way. We're going- we just started going farther away from the thing for some reason. For a while after we got around the tower, I actually didn't notice that we were totally not following the right coordinates, which meant for however long, we were just heading slowly back to the radio tower instead of towards the next lore location. Because I'm stupid. Is it because you're stupid? Oh, I know what it is. I never actually what? put the fucking coordinates in. <laughs> 2731. So 20. 20 24. 30. That's the year, Wayne. Whoa. I think we called it. We wrap it up. You think so? Hold yeah. on. Let me, I gotta make I a present so. for you first. Okay, hold on. I'm going to your room. I'll go to my room too. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you for watching my Let's Play. Thank you for joining Boys. our Let's Play. And <gasps> be ready for, for next us. time when we. My name get is Deku. And to that's the second that's lore island. Or I guess who are you? Because you can't be a Chaco if I'm Deku. We concluded the stream soon after, and consequently ending the first episode of this series here on YouTube. Please let me know if you enjoyed it and would like to see more. And if you're interested in watching the series live, go follow my best bro Milkway on Twitch. Link will be in the description or right here. Thank you so much for watching, and again, if you made it this far, like, p please, please let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. I had a lot of fun writing it and making it, and ugh, I love this game so much. Anyways, make sure you get some food and get some water and get some sleep if you need it, because I love you, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye!